Just for a moment, I want you to close your eyes and imagine a doctor. Now, imagine a disabled person. What words or images just came to your mind? Oftentimes, these two concepts come together in a specific equation. The doctor works to fix a disabled person who's broken or unable in some way. But what if the doctor is disabled? How do these ideas about doctors and disability affect those living at the intersection? This question is at the heart of my research. You see, in 2016, over 1,500 US medical students disclosed a disability to their school. And these schools are legally required to provide them with equal access. But beyond the legal mandate, it's in schools' best interest that these students go on and serve patients in their communities. Having more disabled doctors could help improve medical care for disabled patients. And working alongside disabled doctors could help to shift ideas about disability among their peers. My thesis seeks to unlock this potential of disability in medical education. I'm examining the social environment of four US medical schools, and I've interviewed 46 disabled medical students, their teachers, and school administrators. What I want to understand is how these students navigate medical school and how schools enact a culture of access to include them. What I'm finding is that these stereotypes about doctors and disability, they're deeply, deeply ingrained. Disability is still a liability in medicine. To make real change, schools must actively defy these stereotypes and recognize disability as a valued identity. I do see cracks forming in fixed ideas about how training should work, and this opens new possibilities to learn and be a doctor in different ways. But these efforts still happen just one student at a time, with fewer efforts happening on an institutional level. My hope is that through the ideas developing out of my research, we can break these cracks wide open so that the next time we think of a doctor, we just might think of a disabled person as well. Thank you.